Hello there. It's Mona again. Okay, so today I have a new little piece for you. Brand new. Um, same article. New source. We have um, the Bellingham Herald here. Um, mutual friend, let me know. This is still by David Esposito. But check out the date on this one. February 3rd, 2012. The day before the caucus. Okay, let's see if this one's the same. Now, what is today? I'm just now discovering this one today. February 9th at 3.01 p.m. I'm the one that brought you the original one on the day of the caucus that Yahoo and Associated Press had put out at noon, uh, Las Vegas time. S the same exact article. Check it. Check it out. Um, here we go. Um, look at this. Uh, the other, the other uh, Rick Santorum and everybody else conceded in advance. And um, here we go. How he began the day. And where does it say where he's awarded? Oh, here we go. Here's the usual, regular, stereotypical, like as in all the other um, articles that were written two days before the caucus, the day before the caucus, and posted while the caucuses were still going on trying to mislead the public to, like the votes were over, they missed it, and then denying them entrance in the special caucus, which AKA happens to be uh, the only one that they allowed um, uh, to be aired by the media was the Adelson caucus. I believe it's because my personal thought is they must have thought that Ron Paul would not have won the Jewish vote because when I called the GOP headquarters, uh, they said that the media was allowed in all the caucuses, and it was the media's choice not to cover it. A lady on Extension 4, who afterwards hung up on me when I said, how come these people are printing these articles before it even happens? So listen, this is what my theory is. I, I, I think that the GOP is in on it. I think that they're in charge of it, that they're trying to discourage the other candidates who they do not want to win to run out of money, run out of support, and leave the race before they run for independent or conservative or libertarian or constitutional, whatever they want. So this is my theory. But what I can understand is why Sheldon uh, Adelson, who's backing Newt Gingrich, doesn't see the same thing I see and wondering what's happening to his candidate. Why isn't Newt doing anything about this? I mean, I happen to love Ron Paul, and that's what upsets me the most. But this affects all the candidates. Santorum, I think, is, is probably there with Romney. That, that's probably who they're going to probably, my prediction is going to be Romney with Santorum as vice president, the way that they've got it all rigged. But, uh, but that's okay. We're going to keep on supporting Ron Paul. We're not going to give up. He's not going to give up. And for God's sakes, please, we need transparency. We need a video camera and media coverage at every single caucus site, especially the sites where only Mitt Romney and Ron Paul are on the ticket because I think that's when they're going to steal it. So look at this. Once again, I'm going to show you, posted Friday, February 3rd, 2012, uh, the day before the caucus even took place. Here's another one. Fraud, 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 shenanigans. And the website is here. You can freeze frame it so you can read it for yourself. Okay, y'all have a great day. Go Ron Paul!